Hi all. In this video, let's see the importance of minification and obfuscation in JavaScript. So first coming to the minification. So here the minification means removing the unnecessary code in an application. It means removing the white spaces, new lines and blocks, comments, also short names, giving short names to the variables and functions. Why we do all these things? In order to reduce the file size so that if the file size reduces, we can load that file easily into the browser. There come, the application can load faster. So this is the reason we need to do minification. So let me show you an example. So this is a normal code we do and uh, the minified file looks in this way. So it will load very faster so that the application loads very fast in our applications. This is an online tool for the JavaScript minification. So how to differentiate the minification file and a normal file. So this is a sample bootstrap application CDN. So we can use this in our applications in order to load the bootstrap. So here the extension of min.js, it means this file is minified, minified JavaScript file. If I remove this minification, so the extension. So now you can see the normal code looks in this way. So in this way, we can differentiate a minified file and a JavaScript normal file. How can we achieve the same in the Webpack, using the Webpack? So you need to use, in order to use the minification process in the React.js and AngularJS applications, you can use Webpack module bundler and this Uglify.js plugin. You can use this plugin and you can minify your code. So in this way you can do, and also you can observe while developing, these are the CDNs. In the React.js, you, while you're developing, the people used to use the development versions like this. While they are going to the production version, they use the production minified JS file to reduce the file size. So this is the reason we need to use the minification in our applications. So coming to the obfuscation. So let's discuss this. What is obfuscation? So in a logic which was loaded into the browser, users and everyone can read that logic directly. For example, they can uh, see the code in this format. So this was a sample code. So browser, any of the application, if you go to the developer tools, sources tab, and uh, here in your related tab, you can see the code. So you can directly read this code, you can copy this code, you can hack this code as well. So these are the reasons without the obfuscation, you can do all these things. So what's the obfuscation mean? It is a technique of transforming the human readable format and code into a uh, non-readable and uh, hard, hard to understand format. So that looks, so with, without the obfuscation, we, we are uh, going to expose our business logic to someone and uh, the code can be copied and can be used without our permission. And also code giving, uh, exposing like this, the code, it is uh, easier for the hackers to hack our code. So these are the things we, we, we will be facing if we are not using obfuscation. So that's the reason we need to use obfuscation. So how to do that? So this is sample code I have uh, pasted on the top. And uh, if I obfuscate that code, it looks in this way. It was hard to understand. So how to use the same in the Webpack? So in the Webpack, you need to install, I mean, uh, how to use the same obfuscation in the React, Angular, or any of the applications. You need to download these dependencies like JavaScript obfuscator and Webpack obfuscator. And you need to use uh, these Webpack configurations like plugins or uh, a loader. You can use any of this. So let me show you an example. So this is an example. This is the Webpack configuration I'm using. I have imported the Webpack obfuscator and I have installed these two dependencies. JavaScript above skater and Webpack above skater. So I have uh, used the loader rules and have used the Webpack above skater loader in order to above skate the code. So how does this look? So once I have above skated the code, it looks in this format. It was uh, hard to read. It looks in this format. So there would be a level of uh, above skation as well. You can increase the level of above skation. So there would be one disadvantage of uh, using this obfuscation. It means it would be loading time would be a bit reduced because it needs to translate this obfuscated code into the normal code. 
so that uh, it would be like uh, loading time would be increased a bit but the security would be very uh, efficient so it can stop all these things and the business logic could not be exposed and no one can hack our code so this is all about the obfuscation and minification importance so try to use them with the webpack thanks thanks for watching please subscribe for more videos